What's going on guys, it's OmniArc and today I want to bring you a brand new video talking about competitive Call of Duty for the 2016-2017 season. Uh, I want to talk about some of the things that people have been saying on Twitter, especially the pros, you know, on Twitter and on YouTube, making YouTube videos. I know nate has been talking about how he wants a Modern Warfare Remastered to be the game of this season, and I know Clayster made a video, and there's just been a ton of people uh, in the community talking about it, and everybody seems to be divided. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about this uh, phenomenon, what's going on right now the Call of Duty community uh, and what I think is actually gonna happen now if you guys didn't know the sales figures for Infinite Warfare have been terrible uh, they are down like 50% it was like 48.4% uh, from Black Ops 3's first week sales so there's just a huge drop in first week sales for Infinite Warfare which is really really bad um, what I will say though is Infinite Warfare was still the most successful shooter release of the year um, it sold more copies than Battlefield 1 first week and it sold more you know just overall so again Call of Duty comes out on top as far as first week sales figures go at this point in time um, that doesn't really mean much in my opinion because if the game sucks people are going to buy a different game down the line as we've seen in the past few weeks with overwatch the overwatch community is actually still growing at a very very fast rate even though the game has been out for a long time now it came out over the summer people are still buying overwatch people are still playing overwatch uh, and the game is just getting more popular as time goes on so people you know who buy call of duty doesn't necessarily mean just because it was the most successful launch of the year as far as shooters go doesn't mean it'll be the most successful or the most played in a month or two months from now so a lot of people, you know, are saying we shouldn't play Infinite Warfare for the competitive season this year. Uh, a lot of people are saying that there is just no interest in Infinite Warfare. Obviously, the sales numbers speak for themselves. And again, uh, the another thing that came out, I think, in the UK was the game currently has like a quarter of the amount of player base that uh that black ops 3 had at a similar point in time last year so even of the people that bought the game even less of them are even playing it regularly uh which is also a really bad sign because that means that even the people who bought it most of them don't even give a shit anyway so that's a huge deal now a lot of people are saying because of this like because people don't care about infinite warfare people think the game is trash nobody's really 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 enjoying it you know some people think it's fine some people are having a good time with the game casually but as far as competitively people are afraid that because the game sold so poorly and because the game uh the multiplayer was received very poorly despite positive reviews for the campaign or whatever uh people are afraid that the competitive scene is just going to tank this year because no one gives a shit and that's a, a reasonable concern um and honestly that is scary dude i haven't recorded a video in like four days and i fucking turn on the camera and a huge airplane flies over like are you fucking kidding me? Like, what the fuck? So, because of the lack of interest and in people just overall, in general, not really caring for Infinite Warfare, some people have been saying, why don't we play Modern Warfare Remastered as the competitive title for the year? Uh, because people are actually seeming to like it. You know, people who hadn't ever played it before are playing it and finding that they actually enjoy the game more than Infinite Warfare. On top of that, there's a ton of old school veterans who really, really prefer the game over an infinite over Infinite Warfare and would rather uh, play that title for the competitive season rather than infinite warfare and that's a great point that is a totally valid point people are saying you know the game is simply better people just seem to like that game more uh, a lot of people only bought infinite warfare because of mono warfare mastered and that's probably why the infinite warfare player base is so small uh, because you know a lot of people either don't like the game or they just bought it for mono warfare mastered uh, so people are actually over there playing that game instead personally even though i would love to see a mono warfare remastered competitive scene for this uh, season I really really doubt that's going to happen and here's why because when a company releases two games uh, that are similar you know you release infinite warfare and you also release mono warfare mastered market cannibalization is not a good thing it's not something that investors want to see because what it shows is that a company is actually giving up on one of its products in favor for a new one uh, and that's just wasted time I mean you basically wasted time money effort investments into infinite warfare in the end just to go for the mono warfare remastered which is a 10 year old game uh, you know you only have 
10 maps it's not a full remaster it's just it's old stuff it's nothing new there's no innovation uh, it doesn't show that the company is growing it doesn't show them moving forward all it's showing is that they ported over a 10 year old game with newer graphics and it, and it's outperforming their newer thing that's costed them a lot more money to make uh, which is a very bad investment you know you don't want to spend a ton of money on one product and then release a cheaper uh, remaster of an old product and have that actually outperform because then you just wasted a ton of time money effort on this other thing uh, where you know people are gonna say well what the fuck Activision what are you even doing uh, this is a terrible waste of your time investment or whatever you should be supporting your newest product uh, because we want to see that succeed you need to continue to move forward you need to continue growing uh and you know that whole thing that that's that's the whole rationale so even if the entire community wants to see modern warfare remastered for the season and even if modern warfare remastered is the more popular game uh activision is probably not going to pick that up for the competitive scene at least not as the primary game because Peep, that would be basically stabbing Infinite Warfare in the back and saying, fuck this game, we don't give a shit about it, we're just going to go with Modern Warfare Remastered, uh, and that's not going to make investors happy, that's not going to make uh, anybody happy uh, behind the scenes, um, you know, the CEO is not going to want to see that, nobody in the, in the entire company or in the investment section None of them want that to happen, and therefore, if the boss doesn't want it, it's probably not going to happen, uh, which means they're probably going to force Infinite Warfare down the throats of the pro players, which is, I think, what they're expecting anyway. I don't think anybody legitimately expects Modern Warfare Remastered to be the competitive title of the year, um, so they're probably just ex just ready for that the shit show that it is, that's going to be this next, you know, fucking 12 months. Um, but it really sucks, because from one perspective, you could say, well, nobody gives a shit about Infinite Warfare, so viewers should would be higher and there would be more enthusiasm for the professional scene if we picked up on a warfare remastered you know more people would watch more people would enjoy it the pros would want to play more uh, and just the whole scene would overall benefit from them picking mono warfare remastered as the primary title but like i said uh you know even if that sounds like it makes a lot of sense uh, that would basically be betraying their own company and betraying their own investors uh, and basically a business their sole purpose and their main focus is to you know increase their uh, they're trying to increase their stock price they're trying to make the company more profitable and better off that's number one priority for any big company on the stock market so Yes, it would make sense for for Modern Warfare Master to be the competitive title of the year, um, but from a business standpoint, from an investor standpoint, I really don't think that they would take that risk and have you know their stock price just take a hit. I really think that's what would happen. You know, you, they would announce Modern Warfare Master as the competitive title of the year, and everyone's going to say, "Look." What the fuck have they been doing? You know, for the past three years, they've been making this Infinite Warfare game. Think of all the salaries, all the investments, all the marketing that went behind the game, all this shit that they spent, all their time, money, and effort they spent on this game, uh, and they're just throwing it to the side in favor of this 10-year-old remaster. Uh, and that would be that would show that they are not confident in moving forward, not confident in their abilities to make a new, better game than what they've done in the past, uh, and that's going to have investors saying, well, if they are not even confident in what they're doing, why should we be invest in them? If, if they're not even investing in themselves, really, you know, they're just investing in their old work, they're not investing in them going forward, they don't believe in their new title, uh, we should invest in them, they clearly are uneasy and they're unsure of what their next steps are going to be so again i hope i'm not repeating myself too much uh but like i said you know they're not going to want to hurt their investors by going with mono warfare mastered even though uh you would think they would want a stronger community you would think they would want a better community a more happy community you would think they would want to make the community happy but in this instance where it's the community's happiness versus investor happiness uh the business almost always like 99 percent of the time is going to go with the investors because like i said their number one priority is on unfortunately uh growing their stock price and making their investors happy because those are the people that are paying the bills um not necessarily but in a way you know that's a whole different video i don't want to talk about stock but um yeah so that's what i think is going to happen i think they're going to pick infinite warfare just because they have to basically um <clears throat> they're kind of you know uh the, the investors are pretty much at their throats in my opinion that's probably what's happening behind the scenes so yeah that's what's gonna happen um they might do you know maybe like a, a couple of events for modern warfare master just to get hype up about it and get people still talking about call of duty maybe we'll see like some mlg or umg events uh doing modern warfare remastered and then maybe like the 
Call of Duty World League or whatever will take Infinite Warfare. Who knows? Um, they would have to really plan that out around the Call of Duty World League. And to be honest, I'm not even sure if Call of Duty, if Infinite Warfare is doing like a huge prize thing that Black Ops 3 did. Um, I probably should have looked that up before I made this video. Um, but to be honest, I just haven't. All right, so I just looked it up. Call of Duty World League is supporting Infinite Warfare. So yeah, um, that's the whole thing. That's just what I wanted to talk about today from a business perspective, what I think is going to happen. Um, I really don't know if they're going to pay much attention to Model Warfare Mastered, even though the whole community wants it. Uh, and yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch, and I will talk to you guys again soon. If you have never seen my channel before and if you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like the video. That would be really awesome. It would really help me out, and I would really, really appreciate it. And that's pretty much it, guys. So thank you for watching. Again, this is Omniarch, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.